Have you ever wondered how a drone works? These high-flying buzzing machines have become a common sight in our skies. Their popularity has soared in recent years, and not just for their novelty. Drones have found diverse applications in our modern world, from capturing stunning aerial photography to delivering packages right to our doorsteps. They've been used in agriculture, surveillance, and even in saving lives during emergencies. But behind these practical uses is a fascinating piece of technology. It's a marvel of modern engineering involving complex systems and components all working together seamlessly. As we dive into the world of drones, we'll explore the key components that make up these incredible machines, from their frames and motors to their controllers and GPS systems. In the next few minutes, you will learn about the key components of a drone and how they work together to give us this incredible technology. The first element we need to understand is the frame and design of the drone. The frame is essentially the skeleton of the drone. It's what holds everything together and gives the drone its shape and stability. The material choice for the frame is crucial, as it needs to be both lightweight and robust. Typically, materials like carbon fiber or high-grade plastics are used. The weight is an important consideration, too. A lighter drone will consume less power, allowing for longer flight times. But remember, it must also be strong enough to withstand any potential crashes or harsh weather conditions. Now, let's talk about the design. The most common drone design is the quadcopter featuring four rotors. This design offers a great balance of control and stability making it perfect for both beginners and experienced pilots. Now that we've covered the frame, let's dive into the heart of the drone, the motors. What keeps the drone up in the air? It's the motors. Now let's delve into the world of drone motors. These are the small but mighty powerhouses that convert electrical energy into mechanical power. The motors spin the propellers and it's these rotations that generate lift, propelling the drone off the ground and into the sky. The role of propellers cannot be overstated. Shaped like tiny wings, they slice through the air, creating a difference in air pressure that lifts the drone upwards. The more propellers a drone has, the more stable it is. Now, the number and positioning of motors play a vital role in a drone's flight capabilities. A quadcopter, for instance, has four motors positioned at the corners of its frame. This layout contributes to the drone's stability and maneuverability. Drones with more motors can lift heavier payloads and are more resilient in the face of a motor failure. With the motors keeping the drone airborne, it's time to look at how we control and navigate these devices. Wonder how to control a drone? It's all about the controller and flight controller. Both of these components are crucial for piloting a drone and ensuring a smooth and stable flight. Let's start with the controller, also known as the remote control. The controller is your direct link to the drone. It's where you, as the pilot, input commands that the drone will follow. These commands might be as simple as go up or turn right, or as complex as executing a flip or returning home automatically. The controller communicates with the drone using radio waves. When you push a stick or press a button on the controller, it sends a signal to the drone telling it what to do. This signal is sent on a specific frequency and the drone is tuned to receive signals on that same frequency. Now let's talk about the flight controller. This is the drone's onboard computer. It takes the commands you've sent with the controller and translates them into actions. It's like the brain of the drone, making decisions based on the input it receives. The flight controller is also responsible for maintaining a stable flight. It does this by using sensor data. These sensors might include accelerometers and gyroscopes, which measure the drone's speed and orientation. If the drone starts to tilt or drift, the flight controller will adjust the power to the motors to correct it. What's truly remarkable is that all of this happens in real time, with the flight controller making adjustments hundreds of times per second. This constant adjustment is what gives drones their incredible stability and maneuverability. So the controller and the flight controller are key players in the drone's operation. The controller is your way of telling the drone what to do, and the flight controller is the drone's way of understanding and executing those commands. The controller and flight controller are the brains of the drone, but how does it know where it's going? That's where the GPS comes in. A drone's GPS system is its internal compass. It's the guiding light, the North Star, the invisible hand that guides our drone through the open skies. But how does it do that, you ask? 
Well, let's dive a little deeper into the magic of GPS, or Global Positioning System, as it's formally known. At its core, the GPS system is a network of approximately 30 satellites, orbiting the Earth about 12,000 miles above us. These satellites are constantly transmitting signals down to Earth, and our drone's GPS receiver picks up these signals. But it's not just a simple game of catch, there's some serious math involved. When the drone picks up the signal from a satellite, it measures the time it took for the signal to arrive. Since we know the speed of light, we can use this time to calculate how far away the satellite is. But knowing the distance to just one satellite isn't enough. The drone needs signals from at least four satellites to accurately pinpoint its position in three dimensions, latitude, longitude, and altitude. Now you might be wondering, why is GPS so important for a drone? Well, GPS plays a crucial role in many aspects of drone operation. It allows the drone to maintain a stable hover without any input from the pilot. It's also essential for the return to home feature, which automatically guides the drone back to its takeoff point if the connection to the controller is lost. Furthermore, GPS enables advanced flight modes like Follow Me, where the drone autonomously follows the pilot, and Waypoint Navigation, where the drone flies a predetermined route. These features would be impossible without the precise positioning information provided by the GPS system. So that's the GPS system in a nutshell. It's like the brain of the drone, constantly processing information from satellites far above our heads to ensure our drone knows exactly where it is and where it's going. It's a marvel of modern technology and a testament to human ingenuity. Now, how does a drone capture those breathtaking aerial shots? Let's explore the camera and gimbal system. A major reason for drones popularity is their ability to capture stunning aerial footage. You've probably been mesmerized by the smooth, high quality videos drones can produce. Well, that's all thanks to the camera and gimbal system. It's more than just a fancy piece of equipment. It's the heart of aerial photography and videography. Now, let's delve a little deeper. The gimbal system is a pivoted support that allows the rotation of an object about a single axis. In the case of drones, this object is the camera. The gimbal maintains the camera level, compensating for changes in the drone's position and allowing it to smoothly pan and tilt. This results in stable and professional-looking footage even when the drone is moving at high speeds or changing direction. The quality of the camera itself is also a critical factor. Not all drone cameras are created equal. Some offer high-definition resolution, while others might even provide 4K or 8K capabilities. The lens quality, sensor size, and image processing technology all play a part in the final image or video quality. A larger sensor, for example, can capture more light resulting in better image quality, especially in low light conditions. Moreover, many drone cameras offer features such as burst shooting, time lapse, and slow motion video. Some even have smart functions such as tracking and recognition technology, allowing the drone to follow a subject or recognize specific objects. But it's not just about the hardware. Software also plays a significant role. Advanced algorithms help to process the image data, enhancing the footage, and providing features like object detection, obstacle avoidance, and automatic flight planning. In conclusion, the camera and gimbal system is a vital component of a drone contributing significantly to its functionality and appeal. From the gimbal stabilization to the camera's resolution and smart features, this system is what enables drones to capture the world from a bird's eye view with such clarity and precision. We've covered all the major components of a drone, but how do they work together? Well, that's a story for the next scene. Stay tuned. Every part of a drone plays a crucial role in its functioning. Let's bring it all together. Imagine a symphony where each instrument contributes to the beauty of the whole piece. In much the same way, each component of a drone collaborates to create a seamless flight experience. The frame and design provide the structure, the motors give the lift, and the controller, well, that's the conductor, guiding the drone's every move. Meanwhile, the flight controller is like the brain, processing inputs and making split-second decisions. The GPS system, akin to an innate sense of direction, enables the drone to navigate the skies, while the camera and gimbal system capture stunning aerial views. Each part, working in harmony, brings the drone to life. 
And that, my friends, is how a drone works. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, happy flying.